not a spring chick the bikinis all right you know a lot of times when you're looking inside the refrigerator and you feel like you have nothing to make okay we understand that feeling because we were kind of in that same position but how do you make a hearty meal when basically what you have are very few leftovers very few ingredients in the refrigerator or the cupboard but you do have chicken so what we're going to make today is chicken cheese and tomatoes or actually it's kind of like a salsa yeah, it's, it's, it's a tomato sauce. It's not a sauce. It's a tomato sauce mm -hmm. because you're going to add um, uh, wine, uh, a little, you're going to add, you, we're not using water to make the sauce. We're going to use wine to make the sauce this time. Total wine sauce. But we're going to create something that's really hearty for you. It's going to fill you up mm -hmm. unless you have a really big appetite. But then I guess you can just eat more. Anyway, something hearty that will fill you up and also I'll clean out your refrigerator. And if you're already, actually create something out of hardly anything. And it's not going to take a long time to cook because by the time, the longest thing you're going to be doing is making certain the chicken is cooked all the thing. That we already mm -hmm. have, as people will be able to see in a second, rice that is leftovers and some shriveled up potatoes that are left over. So. And with chicken, some of the trickiest part is, remember they talk about salmonella? When you're cooking chicken and you're cleaning it, what you should do is use the paper towels to clean off your hands afterwards and then discard them. Because a lot of times people, you know, they just use the regular towels yeah. and then you get the chicken. Well, because yeah. we did have a towel which we cannot find, which I was using specifically to slice the chicken, and uh, we, we lose things. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're going to start by putting this. This is just breast chicken breast, and it's been sliced. It's boneless chicken breast. Ah. And it's just been sliced, you know, like real thin slices. Boneless does make a difference. Yeah. Otherwise, you get to pay, well, let's see, boned chicken, well, is less expensive, but then you have to cut out the bone and the weight of the bone and all the yeah. time and effort. And, boneless and it, is a whole lot easier. Yeah, but a tip for everybody, it cuts... It slices much easier when it's partly frozen. This has been setting in the icebox. So the, the trick is when it's partially frozen, slice it. You're going to have to, yeah, and if you don't, you're going to have to go to a enough. really sharp knife to slice it after that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this in. When How long are we putting it for? Three minutes on high. Okay. Then it's going to have to take it out and turn it again. So, so now we're just going to go over. We're going to sit there and make our sauce right now. No, this is red. Oh. No, that's that should be my my um, tomatoes, my chopped tomatoes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need that. Okay. What we need to do is to put um, to put two of our spoons full of pa of flour into that. No, in look what's behind you. Oh. I'm making a sauce. I'm not going to wipe out all of my cooking stuff. I know. Two tablespoons into that. Of now flour, you can use arrowroot, which we don't have, or cornstarch. Probably we don't have. We have baking flour, which isn't. We got baking flour. That's what yes. we do have. So this is the closest thing that we have. In the that corn. is what we have. Okay, two of them. Two of them. Two healthy. Yeah, and then this um, this basically um, put. Um, Four, four tape, probably about this by six tablespoons of a, of our. This is chopped tomatoes, folks. Okay. How many of these? We put six in there. Yeah. This is powder. I'm going to use it. You can on wipe here. off the thing before you put it in, so we don't mess it up. You got a towel underneath. Oh, it. that's true. And since this is dry anyway. It's dry. So we just want to wipe the powder this. off, so we okay. don't put it in with my tomatoes. Okay, that's two. That's two. That was one. That was two. Oh. Three, four, five, six. I have generous sizes. Yeah, now we just throw it together. Now this is really thick sauce. Yeah, and then we're going to um, chop up some uh, pepper, chop, chop up some onions in it. Okay. Remember the idea See, is look. not... Yeah. That's really thick too. Yeah, it's really thick. Are we chopping up all of it or just No, just it? take like a half of it off of it. Okay. I know, like I said, take a half of it off. I was going half it. this way. Yeah. Because I can't cut the other way. I, I know. I know. I just cut the whole half and half. Now we just 
because now you're going to have to take the covers off. Of course. Which if you have cut, <laughs> yeah, I know. I always get amazed. It's so I don't cry. I know. I, I should know better. I generally cut this stuff, but I, every now and then, I, I don't. I after okay after four after five years, I know better than I let her cut anything. <laughs> we have a difference of opinion on thickness of things. She gets she likes chunks, and I when I have to have diced for some things. So. Well, you didn't say whether we were dicing it or something. Well, when I said we we cut half of the thing off, and then you sliced it. <laughs> See, you can sit there and laugh. Remember when you're sitting there going, "How in the world?" When I said that, said this, could they ever think that? No, this is. We've done over 200 episodes, and still... None of one of them has ever been done as I intended. Not a single episode has ever went as I intended. Okay, now we got to take the, the chicken out now. Do you think it would? Now we're going to have okay. to, you know, I think I, I, the fork got... We lost my fork somewhere. Now we got to turn it all over. Where's the fork? I don't know. The fork, what, the fork, fork. is in the same place my... Actually, this, this looks one. really good because... I know, but you still have to turn it over. There's some pink, but not that much pink. I know. Is what I'm saying. So, it, you really have to turn it, and I'm trying to... They say, well, it could be leathery like. Well, yeah, if you don't make it... You don't cook this thing, you pay for it, folks. Yeah, one of, chicken is not one of those things that is you, to undercook. You do not undercook chicken, but you can tell when a chicken is done. I could just turn every single, and you ask, well, we're cooking an awful lot of pieces. Well, because I wanted to make certain that the piece, we didn't waste the piece that was thawed, so. And we're not wasting, they don't waste food, this is a green cooking do you show. You don't need three minutes. Another three minutes. Really? Okay. Yeah. I need to cook it all the way through. Okay, it's definitely going to get cooked all the way through. Yeah. I can tell you that one. Yeah. Okay. Now we chop up your onion some more. I, I know. And then, well, I gotta be interesting to see what she's gonna do with the chopping because I can chop without tossing this stuff all over the countryside. Uh, the other day I made ham I made hamburger out of a used steak. Oh, that's true, you did. Yeah, and I I, I didn't throw it. In, none of it went in the floor, which I thought was amazing. I know, but see, you grew up. Okay. Oh, I know why I didn't shop today. I got broken. Oh, that could be why. Yeah, I wondered why I wasn't doing it today. See, because you grew you grew up doing that. I grew up with a mother that could. I know. That could boil water. Uh, my. No, actually, I, I grew up with a mother that could boil water and melt the pot. My my grandmother knew personally the person that sold carpet, copper bottom pans in the in Los Angeles because uh, once a month she'd have to buy a brand new set of oh. replacements because uh, she could not cook. My father couldn't cook either. My father once destroyed a bone. I, my, my best chef's knife were made from um, bone from whales. Oh, really? they, had, they had bone handles really? and he caught one fire. We discovered bone does not get put out. Fire thing which didn't work, cutting the oxygen off didn't work. We had to toss it outside in a in a in a metal container full of water to burn a hole through the container. And yes, I do have a basket chop. Yeah. But there's something about I like the handle and the hole. Okay, now we just dump it all over into the to there. That, yeah. Okay. I know actually we probably put it on top of the thing too. It might oh be. yeah, it might help it's gonna be spilling. See, I actually used the small they said, Well you could use a bigger cutting board. No, because if we use a bigger cutting board, she she basically still steps on the side and does it no matter what. what. I put it across the way so it won't make a mess. So, hey, look at that, Hal. That's almost done. Somebody has longer arms than me. I know. Now we just kind of sit there and uh, stir it again. Oh yes. Now let's add some wine. To yep. Now we're gonna add wine. See that little beggar's almost done, folks. See? Oh, look at that. Okay. See, you're making your own sauce. Yeah, and you're going to thin it with the wine. Right. As you can tell, how the consistency you, that when it's thin enough. Ooh. Nope, Still thinner. A bit thinner. Because this is a sauce. Okay. And it's neat. 
We should clear out the liquor cabinet too. You yeah. know all these things that we have that have been. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we gave away a thing of them. Of, uh, a vodka for a party. Vodka. Because we don't really use vodka in any cooking. We have, but we don't. We use vodka to make, uh, you know, just take the chicken out. Mm. Vodka, is, vodka is used in red sauces. Yeah. What, what, do is, what do vodka add when you cook it? I, I use it just if I, if I want to do, um, you know, if I just want to have an alcoholic base that basically is not going to do anything. Let's just put a, uh, another plate over the top of that one and we'll set it aside because we need to keep it warm. Because see, here's one thing. Is I know when you add wine, it adds a, a unique flavor yeah. um, to it. It makes it a little bit on the sweeter side. Yeah. It's a little bit musky. Yeah. So just, now we're going to... We'll get our our already right. We'll get the take the we'll take the the the, uh, the plate of chicken and move it move it up to the back of the room. We need to get it out of the way. We move it to the back. Yeah, it's basically it's not a racist thing. We just need to move it to the back of the room. <laughs> well, it's brown rice. <laughs> that was the chicken. And that was the I know, but see the brown rice. You move the chicken, the chicken. Remember? Okay. Okay, now we we'll take our potatoes out, which are somewhat a man. These, these look like they are they're used potatoes. What happens when a potato sits in the ice box is shrivels. Okay. Now we're gonna do something a little more. Just add a little bit of wine to this? our rice. Now just stir it in. Let me say again, but doesn't that turn it color? It's brown rice to begin with. It's no, already. it's already colored. Yeah. Well, so instead of adding water to the rice, yeah. we're adding. Okay, now. Just, well, you just put our potatoes in and warm them up for about 60 seconds just on warm. Are we putting them in here? Or just no, I just need the potatoes to get warm while you stir that. Them on a plate. Can we just no, stick them, there? Just stick them on the top. We're just sticking them on the lid. Don't worry, just stick them on the lid. We're, we're, we try not to get as we try to make things as smooth as we can. So. See what we're what we're doing is we're being green. We're always green. Everything. Green. Then we mix stir your rice stuff up some more. Then you want to mix all your wine in, folks. And instead, well, you know. That's going to taste, taste like wine. Cool, yeah, yeah, this one's going to taste like wine. We're not heating this one up. So, <laughs> so see, now because it's all, what happens is when it's, it sets in the icebox, it congeals, it gets, so we have to sit there and sort of break it up in little pieces. It's meant to be cold. If we had noodles, if the, generally this is meant to be done with noodles. I have no noodles. So. I can smell the wine, so now let's go move that aside. I know, you can smell the wine here. Yeah. From over there. Okay. That's right. Now we'll get the, okay, we'll get the, um, go sit there and put your onion away. Oh, and then we we'll just let that thing sit in there in a second for a few minutes more. Um, go chop, go slice me. Uh, actually, Jeez. take the potatoes out now. Set them aside, and now let's get <laughs> let's get slice. Take some thin slices of your of your Monterey Jack, thin slices. Thin I told you. Thin slices. I would generally do any cutting, but I did break my right hand yesterday. Okay, shall we, shall we get a, a slicer? If you got one. Let's see if you got a slicer. Oh, I saw some. Are you ready? I know. If she has got one. Well, you really can smell that wine. I just saw this the other day. You found the slicer? Let me see if it's still in here. My cousin gave me this. Let's see if this. Oh, it looks well. That's not a slicer. It is a nice board. <laughs> I thought you had a slicer. I saw I one. I did too. I saw one. You were using it the other day. Gosh. I know. Um. Okay, we're just going to set this up here. See, now let's just slice the cheese. This, this, this just turn one. it on its side. Just the big side is to you then and just slice it. I know. Now just I'm just turn it just right over on its side. 
on it. That's right. Now just take your go take the knife I used for filleting with. Yeah, not that one, the filleting one because that's sharp. It's clean. It's just tossed in the sink. Now we're gonna slide. Now let's go put your take while you're slicing that. Go put your take the spoon out of the out of the sauce and just go put it in on warm for a minute. Okay. Then we'll take it out and stir it again while you're doing this stuff. So. I'm guessing only because that was the only thing that had a spoon in it. Yeah. Okay. So I, now we're gonna go really thin slice. Okay. Yeah. Now it's driving me crazy. No, you had a slicer. I saw it. I know. Because you were slicing cheese. Then the other day when you were making an omelet, like, you were slicing the cheese with it. So, oh it isn't in the more dish pressure, is it? Oh no. Where did all my stuff go? Just slice it thin because I need it thin because it's going to go on top of the, the chicken in a second. See, like that. Okay. That's all. Like that. I can't even see through it, too. I oh, know, because it's going to be melted on top of the chicken. And if you don't do it thin enough, it's not going to melt very well. I know. My idea thin and her idea thin is always... That's thin. Good. Yeah, so... You need enough to cover the tops of about four pieces of chicken. Then just leave it on the side, it's easier. Okay, now let's um, let, the, let it just sit there for a second more and then. You want like shavings. Okay, that's enough. Right? You want hmm. like shavings. Yeah, okay, that's enough right now. Let's now get that out. And let's get your, just go get your plate with the chicken over there. Yeah. And you take the, the top one off. Hold on a minute. No, you, you really need to clean up the work well, area. Well, because otherwise it's going to fall off. Oh, I know, but I would have cleaned up the work area. But well. that's just me. I know. <laughs> it's just me. I'm, I'm falling. There. There. Let's see. Now, take your, um, just take some of the because take some of the chicken piece, about four, four of the big ones off, or four, any size you want. I, I try four big ones because just make a nice little. Okay, now put um, go dish out your rice and put it in the middle. Was that what we're doing? Yeah, that's right. This, okay, now let's put a couple of your potatoes over on the sides. Okay. Now let's take a little bit of just a little bit of the sauce, put on top of the rice, a little bit of the sauce. Does that count? No, that that's a, that'll yeah. work. <laughs> okay, and that's not my one. Does. Now take your cheese and put yes. on top of the. On your of your chicken. Oh, look at this! Then we're gonna melt the cheese on top of the chicken. Oh my gosh! And then you take another take another great big spoonful of your sauce and put it on the side of the plate where there's nothing setting. Yeah, just put it another, another, so you can double it up again, so actually when I wanted to do a double, she did the same. Okay, now put it in there and cook it for about a minute on high, and you're ready to eat in a second. You just made gourmet food, folks. I know, I'm something that looks like, what in the world are we going to do with this? Yeah. Did you well, see? that's what happens when you add the wine and the, mop, the pepper jack. Yep, we just made a gourmet meal with leftovers, everything. Like, like, this is like beyond leftovers, like there's hardly anything in the refrigerator. There's nothing, because somebody, somebody is not... Somebody they, was supposed to go to the store and didn't quite make it. They didn't go to the store. They did get eggs, they, but they all, okay, somebody basically did, and they, I mean, we are really, the cabinet is drained out of substantial things. I mean, Nothing that they're supposed to eat. We talk. Okay, they ask us a question. Don't you? Do you don't you live with somebody? Yeah, she lives with a family member, and that person never stays on the diet they're on. If you're not supposed to eat it, they will eat it. 
I mean, you know, they got, I mean, what's they got a god of unbelievable diet. I mean, it's called, it's called, if it makes grease, that is on the diet. So, <laughs> now you're done. Oh. You are done. Yeah, I can hardly wait to try this. You okay. are done. And then the, the sauce on the side is so that when you cut, when you cut your chicken, you can sit there and dip it into the sauce if you want to. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that something? See, because this chicken has the pepper jack. Yeah. All in it. Okay. Yeah, look at that. And there's a variety of different mm -hmm. temperatures sitting on your plate in front of you. It's not all really hot and it's not all really cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I've, I've done this before. Mm -hmm. My actually, my mother loved the microwave for the simple reason we could do this fast on on family meals and have a special chicken dish for people besides steaks and ham and other mm -hmm. stuff. It really works well. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not a whole lot of time invested in this. Oh. The chicken would be magnificent, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the cheese on the top. Any you know, it's basically a white cheese of any type of mm -hmm. white type cheese is best on this meal. Uh, cheddar does not work well. Why white cheese? Because it just something about mm. the, the the cheddar um, and anything that's colored cheese does not work well with this dish because you sort of want because everything mm. is colored on this thing. You got red sauce. It's just really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're using this dipping sauce. Oh mm. wait, we gotta get to some of the rice. Hold on a minute. Yeah. We'll try the. No, but you got rice good. with the sauce on it with wine. <laughs> Remember, you didn't cook the the rice. You just I added know. the wine. Oh, this is good. Okay, so, I'm putting this plate on there because it's still hot. You gotta taste the wine this time, folks. Mm. That was the whole point. Mm. Yeah, and by using using brown rice, you don't notice we change the color with the wine. This is where, uh, you know, because mm. we don't have a white wine. We only have red in this house. Because magic mic parties were done with the rest of the wine. Why would, would white wine work with this just as well? Well, well yeah. Used to using no, it's the, the color. It's the color. If you don't want to change your rice color, oh. the same thing is if you'd add it with your noodles. If you add a white wine to your noodles, it's not going to change the color of the noodles. Mm. So, but I had brown rice, so this works. Mm. It's all got to do with trying to give you something that's inexpensive. That it got awful nutritional, and mm. mostly it's all leftovers. The only thing that's not a leftover in that mess is the, is the chicken. Yes, she oh. likes. Oh, bon appetit! Enjoy. <laughs>